Hey folks, this is just a quick overview of the Trent uh, Airbender Pro uh, wireless uh, Bluetooth keyboard. Um, it's not much, this is the retail box. This is what's inside. It's not really anything, just a one page, uh, a quick guide with the model number and some promotional um, items. Uh, the case is, it comes in two pieces. I'm pretty sure you know if you're already watching this review. Uh, this is the keyboard section. Uh, with this with the swing arm the bottom is uh, soft touch uh, rubber it's actually a rubber skin that covers a hard plastic as you can see right here this is the iPad unit it's two pieces uh, hard plastic this is the internal part this is the rest of the outer backing is also the soft rubber it's actually pretty rugged uh, I think I got it for $69.99 with free shipping. Um, it's probably the best bang for the buck uh, regarding a full case, especially with the features that this 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 uh, unit offers. Um, I have everything disassembled because I'm actually going to assemble everything for you. Um, this is the inside of the uh, rear backing. Um, you see there's a foam piece right here which uh, is actually pretty good. But the rest of the inside is actually hard plastic and I have a problem with this which is my first problem is I don't know if you can catch it but it actually scratches my iPad and I just got this uh, two three days ago so but yeah it's, it's I guess I, I can deal with it but it kind of defeats the purpose of having it scratch your iPad when it's supposed to protect it um, here's the backing it fits on actually really tight and uh, my other problem is when you use this, when you press this, the screen protector uh, is not flush against the iPad screen. So when you press it, there's actually travel. And th the feel of this protective cover is not anywhere near the feel of the actual glass. Um, the clarity, it takes away from the clarity of it. And um, I'm going to install this for you. It just snaps in. It snaps. It snaps in really tight. Uh, this is the last piece here. Yeah, you hear that click. Um, what I would have done, I think, uh, is actually not include the integrated screen protector. What I would have done is included one of these. You install it onto the iPad, and instead of integrating the screen protector with the frame of the case I would have put an o-ring seal around here and an o-ring seal around this part these parts also I mean this case is not meant to be waterproof or splash proof so when you put on the o-ring seal because this thing is installed, installed so tight that it actually seals uh, the frame will actually create a seal once you put in the the, the o-ring seal um, I'm going to install the rest of this for you. I'm trying to, going to try to keep this as brief as possible. The rubber wraps around the case. There, just a quick install. I don't want to spend five minutes trying to do that. Um, okay, this is the unit installed. Uh, let me see, I have a ruler with me. Measures roughly. Uh, 14 millimeters from the lip of the front to the rear backing uh, it has rubber uh, covers for pretty much uh, all of the ports the speaker has a grill it's actually the sound actually sounds better uh, it actually amplifies the sound uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack um, here's the install of uh, this is not not as quick and, and easy but I do like the integration of uh, this, this camera lens uh, kind of cap lock right here so 
This is the unit installed. Let me see, where's the ruler again? I don't like using inches. Uh, this is roughly 26, uh, 27 millimeters, the entire thickness of here. This adds about two, three more millimeters. It has a locking tab. Um, I don't mind the plastic locking tab. Um, the only problem is when you open it, sometimes it pulls out. So I'm probably just going to crazy glue this. Um, let me see. My issue with this is uh, the locking tab is in the back this is the release actually the release lever the release lever for you to disengage this arm right here that way you can act as a stand um, so I'm actually moving my camera so you have this orientation some more space this orientation it actually works really well and then you can put it in and you have this orientation here's the, the gap coverage I'm not sure if you can see the gap coverage I get a flashlight it's it touches the keyboard just a little bit um, but I guess my overall, my biggest complaint about this is the locking or the release uh, lever. The switch is just very hard to disengage because you have to lift the entire thing up. And then when you pull it out, sometimes it just shoots right out. So it doesn't really stop that well. I know there's a, a stop port for it, but it doesn't stop that well. Um, what I would have done was uh, I probably would have integrated the locking tab. I'm going to take this out. What I would have done, I think, was integrate a locking tab or a switch uh, on this side. So, not sure how I can explain that. Let me see. I would have made the switch right here. Have a solid arm that comes out it's spring loaded of course the lever right here so when you press it it releases it so that way when you, you can just engage it from this side instead of from behind or you can switch this over to the other side you can see the arm pushing this and the lever uh, actuates up and releases uh, uh, disengages the uh, the rear arm right here um, I think another thing I have a problem with is the keyboard the keyboard is not backlit I mean this thing is it weighs nothing it's actually top heavy because I've had probably weighs twice as twice as much so with all the space, extra space or empty space that they have in here, they could have integrated uh, a larger battery and backlit uh, keyboard. And that's one of my biggest compromises uh, with getting this, because you know there are a lot of situations where I don't have good lighting. Um, the let me see. Oh yeah, another thing too. I'm trying to press it, but another thing is the on and off switch. Uh, the problem with the on and off switch is you actually have to hold it uh, and wait till it's on so you never know when it actually turns on by itself um, so all the functions work you can bring up the keyboard cut paste uh, all your multimedia controls sound uh, the, I like the lock switch you can't hit it by accident you have to put the FN button uh, but the problem with the switch is when it goes to sleep you don't really know uh, when it actually goes to sleep or when it actually disconnects uh, I think the newer trend the airbender uh, air actually has an on and off uh, switch as opposed to one switch for both on and off um, that way you know exactly when it's on when it's off 
Um, I think that's about all I have. And overall, it's a really good case. And uh, what I'm going to do to this case is all these uh, tabs, I'm probably just going to cut it all off. And then for this screen protector, I'm probably just going to rip it off. I mean, I have a screen protector on the iPad already. So I really can't get used to the feel. It actually takes away from the user experience part of it. But uh, overall, pretty good case. Better than pretty much everything else out there. Um, yeah, and it's actually half the price or, or less. So I do recommend you getting it, but I do recommend uh, folks or fans of the Airbender uh, Pro series to at least voice their concerns. Um, that's why I'm doing this review. So, thanks.